Good morning. It's Monday, and I'm looking at the futures right now. The markets haven't opened yet. It's 831. Futures at this point are looking very positive. It looks like markets are going to start heading to the upside, so maybe we should have a bias towards buying calls. But of course, that can change on the spur of the moment, so we won't know until we watch the premonition charts, which is what we will do today. I'll be back after the markets open. Markets are open, and as you can see, it's just as predicted. We've got a green four, so we're going to be looking for something to go green. Now, we've only got two to choose from right now, so what we may end up doing is watching for these to turn red and then turn green, and when they go green, we'll get them. Assuming that, of course, that this number stays at four or gets to be a bigger number. So at this point, it's just a waiting game. Okay, as you can see, FCX has just turned green. And look at the directional strength has gotten to be a bigger number. So we know that this is the right move. So as soon as that yellow bar disappears, we'll look at some calls. Is it is now gone? Oh, look at that. It's down to 178. Okay, we'll buy it on sale. 178. We've just lost the number on the directional strength. We're down to 5, but that doesn't mean it's going in reverse. Nothing goes in a straight line. It'll go up, back off a bit. You can go up again. See here, right here, COP has just turned red. That doesn't mean to buy a put, even though this number is getting a, a little smaller. What it means is we'll just wait for this to turn green and buy it to the upside because we want to go in the same direction as the market. And I don't think the markets are reversing. IWM is going to be going on sale, so we'll wait for both of these to turn green. Uh, Microsoft just turned green. And though I'm not a big Microsoft fan, let's take a look. How's 82 and 84 sound? 82, 84, that's for the 28s. Well, Q's and RIM are going on sale, but look, we're getting a bigger number here. So, like I said, it's just going to pull back a little bit and then take off. So, we're situated nicely now for some up moves. We've got four red stocks that we can wait to turn green in agreement with the market direction. Okay, IWM has just gone green, which is what we've been waiting for. In agreement with the market, let's check out the price. 113, 114. That's for the 59s. There, the Qs have just gone green. I'm not going to buy RIM right now because I think RIM's a little questionable. I think it's going to come back to life at some point, but right now it's not. So let's check the Qs, and that gives us enough to buy for today. There we go. 66, 67. That's for the 43s. Okay, I think we've got uh, enough now to uh, play today, and uh, we'll come back a little later on and see how much money we've made. Okay, we'll just do a spot check here. It's just 10 o'clock. I just heard the 10 o'clock chime. There you go. Let's see how we're doing. Q's, we had the 43's that we paid 67 for. They're now 72. So we're making some money there. It's only been uh, about 20 minutes. IWM, we had the 59s, we paid 114. They're now 119. So we're making a nickel there. Microsoft, we had the 28s that we paid 84. So now we're even money. And uh, FCX, Freeport McMoran, they're a copper company for the 85s. 193, we paid 178. So that looks like the big winner so far. I'll be back a little bit, and we'll check it again. Okay, it's nearly 11 o'clock, as you can see. Let's do another check, see if we're making any more money. We had the $85 strikes on FCX. It's now 212. We paid 178. Microsoft, we had the 28s. We paid 84. They're now 86. A couple of pennies there. IWM, we had the 59s that we paid 114. They're now 125. And the Qs, we had the 43 that we paid 67. They're now 77. So 100% successful so far today. So let's see how we've done today. Here's the four that we identified, all calls. Number of contracts that we would have been able to buy to keep the price of each of them under $1,000. So the total investment for the four was $3,683. At 10 o'clock, this was what each of them had as the bid price. 
would have generated this much uh, in profit. So one of them would have been a loss, and that's because it was even 84, 84. But like I've said before, this includes commissions. So these numbers are what's green in your jeans. So we've lost the commission on that one. So at 10 o'clock from about, actually it wasn't 9.45, it was more like about 9.40. So in 20 minutes, we made 3.99% return on our investment or $147 profit. We looked at it again at 11 o'clock. Here's what the value was at 11 o'clock for each of them. All of them now profitable. There's the profit on each of the various symbols. A total profit by 11 o'clock, $382 or a 10.37% return on investment. So you can see how the software works when there's no significant news happening. This is a day-to-day -day activity. And we certainly hope that you'll come on board and join us and start sharing some of these great results.